feeling really starts when you hit that beep. You're metal detecting, you're going through the field or the forest or the house, whatever, and you hit that beep, it's an immediate rush. Like that, oh, what is this thing? It's like euphoria, man. The spirit of discovery is here, it's ever present, and we're bringing it back with the Charles Garrett Memorial Hunt 4. I think it's awesome to be able to come back out, you know, after COVID, you know, took such a dent and the feeling of community. And so now I just think people are just reaching out to get out and just be around with one another, doing something that they love. Let's get out there and find some treasure. So we're out here today. This is the fourth annual Charles Garrett Memorial Hunt. We have hundreds and hundreds of people out here having a great time. And they're out doing what they love doing. They're metal detecting, they're looking for treasure. There's native treasure to be found here, rings, jewelry, coins, but we have thousands and thousands of tokens we put out that are redeemable for prizes. And we've got a lot of special hunts going on this weekend. Metal detecting is an outdoor sport, and if you love it, you learn how to love the weather, good or bad. And this morning we had some rain, but everyone's out detecting again, getting a little muddy, but spirits are high and the rain didn't dampen the enthusiasm at all. It's really special for us this year. Metal detecting is about community, and last year we were all ready to go and COVID hit and we had to cancel this event. And this year, it just means so much to us to be able to get back out and get among our customers and our fans and the people that we know and enjoy the outdoors and, and have a community event again. These people that come to this hunt are passionate about metal detecting and they love sharing stories with other people that are passionate about their same love of metal detecting. So they come out, they tell stories, they reminisce about things that they found and places that they've been. And so it's a great thing to see that come back. All in all, Gary has given away, because of our 57th anniversary, 57 metal detectors, 57 gold coins. We buried 57 caches. So we've got quite a bill of prizes to be given away. You're not gonna find more than what we offer here today. I'd like to welcome all enthusiastic treasure hunters to day two of the Charles Garrett Memorial Treasure Hunt. Ready, aim, fire! All my life, I've been in search of things that you can do, especially with your family, and this is awesome. Because look, who doesn't like to dig in the dirt? I mean, this takes you back to the happy moments of your life, which as a kid, it was getting muddy, digging in the dirt. And the fact that you're finding something that someone lost or something that's valuable that you can now put back in circulation, it's exciting. Everybody is searching for something great. You know, they wanna find that gold ring so they can tell their friend about it or even show off. I love it to see a kid get involved in, this is an outdoor activity where you're with other people, you can share the experience, you have real conversations, you find something cool. So you see the looks on these kids' faces when they find something, I mean, you can tell, okay, this is what you call good, clean fun. So right now we're doing the kids hunt at the Garrett Memorial Hunt. So my kids are out there digging up coins. We started our metal detecting, I guess, experience over in Korea and the kids just got into it really quick because there's a lot of stuff to find because not many people metal detect. Out here probably is the finding all the Civil War bullets. And so my kids have learned about that part of American history, but they've never ever had a chance to actually put their hands on it. And so coming here and doing this event, even though it's seated and finding those artifacts and finding those bullets and things, it's like, it's a really good feeling because they're able to touch that history history instead of just reading about it. My name is Michael Bennett. I have a YouTube channel called Nugget Noggin and I've been metal detecting for 13 years and doing YouTube for around a decade as well. There's hundreds of people out here and just so many coins in the ground to find, silver coins and relics and I get to meet some of my YouTube viewers and it's just totally awesome. It's an amazing event, especially last year, 2020, everything was shut down and it was so hard. And so I think this brings people together and we get to just, you know, have fellowship, have a great time and 
find some awesome stuff. Live and raw, running and gunning with KG and the Ringmaster. Yep, we're in Canton, Texas. It's day three. Now we've got the silver hunt going on behind me all around us. Everybody's running around enjoying themselves digging up silver. Big silver coins out here, 12,000 or more, I think, and people are tearing it up. First day, free range hunt. Everybody just ran wild. They're trying to find tokens for prizes. Day two was the relic hunt. There's thousands and thousands of dollars worth of Civil War relics buried in the ground to find. Today, we got silver hunt. Everybody's plucking silver from Mother Earth. Everybody that goes to it seems to love it and say this is the best hunt they've been to. And that's our goal, is just to make it fun, make it exciting, and maybe turn on a few new people into the sport of metal detecting. I just enjoy watching people carry out their passion for metal detecting. They just, they love to be out here. They love to share experiences, techniques for metal detecting. Seeing people come out and seeing the kids run around, learn how to metal detect, and the joy that they have when they find something, it's, it's really fun to watch. And, it, and you know, it's awesome because you go all the way from young kids to grown men and you still see that joy of finding something. So it's, it's great to see that.